Hi and welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to discuss the need to have one single chart of account on NetSuite and how to localize each account to the requirements of specific subsidiaries across the world. So some subsidiaries, for example, in France, in, in Europe, in Africa and Asia, they need to have specific numbers for their accounts. So it's very difficult to maintain this on NetSuite if you're going to have multiple sub accounts within your chart of account. So one way to do this is to use accounting contexts. So to showcase this, I'm going to show you one uh, account, which is called in French for 11 triple zero clients. And in the corporate chart of account, this account is called uh, receivables and it's got a, a totally different account number. And now you can see this here uh, on the journal entry because I'm using NetSuite uh, with a very specific accounting context that I've actually set up before. So I'm going to show you that. So I'm on home, set preferences, and I'm using NetSuite in French because you need this for the FEC extraction. But more importantly, accounting wise, I've set up a context called FR. Now to set up this context, you have to go to setup company, and then you'll need to go to general preferences. Within this, you're going to scroll down and you will see on the sub tabs that one of them is called accounting context in English. In French, it's context comptable, of course. You're going to create your new accounting context. Let's say if you need one for, let's say, Luxembourg, you're going to put LUX here and you're going to save this. Once you've saved it, you can go back to your account. This is the corporate account here, receivables, and it's the number uh, 811,000. And if you look down, there's a sub tab now called localization. Within the localization, you're going to choose your uh, accounting context and you pu you're going to put the, uh, the right number and the right name for it. Okay, so once you do that, you can click on save. And then what you'll see is that for those accounts, if your user is using the accounting context on his preference, he or she will be able to see the translated uh, accounting numbers and names, not just on transaction entry, but also on reports, for example, on the balance sheet. Okay, but if I change the context to another one on my home dashboard, it will change what I see here on the reports and also on the transactions. I hope this makes sense to you. If you found value or enjoyed this video, please leave a like or subscribe and we will see you on the next video. Thank you and goodbye.